Hello, everyone, and welcome to the SHIP Sports Report. I'm Bill Morgel, the Sports Information Director. We're taking a look today at the Shippensburg University wrestling team, who this weekend will be competing at the 2012 NCAA Division II Super Region I Championships hosted by UNC Pembroke. It's an important weekend as the top four seeds in each weight class will be advancing to the national championships held in March. Today we're joined by two of SU's 10 representatives that will be competing this weekend at UNC Pembroke. Our first guest is senior Tyler Zittle, a native of Littlestown and a veteran of over 100 career matches with the Raiders. Welcome, Tyler. Thanks. First question I want to ask you about, Tyler, um, the mindset of the team right now. It's a long season wrestling. It, I mean, you go all the way from November, really even before that, and now here into late February. but. The regional championships are at the forefront. Talk about what that's like. Um, yeah, I mean, basically, you know, we work all year for this. Uh, matches, dual meets, yeah, I mean, they're great. Um, team wins are huge, but uh, this is definitely what you're working for. Wrestling is an individual sport. Granted, there is a team aspect, but uh, getting on top of the podium is really what uh, you strive for from day one, going back to when you're a little kid. You know, this is what you've been working for your whole life. Chippensburg's really had a solid season, 12 dual meet victories, snapping some long losing streaks to teams like East Strasburg and Delaware Valley. But like you said, it comes down to really a team performance, but 10 individuals contributing to that team performance this weekend. How does that, I mean, the importance of that, the excitement of that, I imagine it's just, it's here right now. Yeah, I definitely think there is a level of excitement. Um, I think uh, Guys are really focused. I think there's a intense focus going in a, in the wrestling room right now. Uh, our ten guys going in. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, inexperience coming into this tournament. Six guys who've never been here before. Um, we got four returners, but uh, having been there last year, it's definitely this is my last shot. Um, I'm a senior, so it's a uh, it's a huge. This is going to be a huge weekend. Um, um, it's, it's really just strong focus right now. Now, in your case in point, being one of the seniors, you're 184 pounder right now, Tyler. Um, you've placed at the PSAC championships three times, but at three different weight classes. Um, you kind of made that shift near the middle of last year toward 184, and mm -hmm. you've been at that all this year. Is that nice, at least from a wrestling standpoint, having some stability, though, knowing that you're not you know, necessarily shifting around and you know what you're going at? Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, with that, like, weight control is a big issue. Um, last year, having dropped from, to 184 from, one, from 197, uh, it was definitely a struggle. I lost a lot of muscle mass, and uh, I really didn't think I wrestled to the best of my abilities. This year, uh, I ha having been at 184 since the beginning of the season, um, it's definitely been easier. It's, things have been more stable for me. Uh, my performance, I feel like, has been better. Um, you know, there's a few hiccups along the way, but, um, you know, right now we're just fine-tuning everything, getting ready for this weekend, and I, uh, I definitely feel strong going into the tournament. Now, when all said and done here, though, this is really what it comes down to. You get a chance to wrestle at the national championships with a solid performance this weekend. What do you want to come away with the weekend with, and what do you really, what do you think some, what are some of the things that Shippensburg wants to come away with this weekend with? Um, as far as a team, you know, I, I can't speak for everybody, but I know that you know each guy has to have the goal of, I got to make it to nationals. Um, and I know as far as a uh, coaching standpoint, that would be you know a dream to have ten guys go to nationals. Um, and, you know, that's, to some people it may seem inconceivable, but, you know, you have to set your goals to the highest degree, and I think uh, that's definitely a, a huge goal for the team. As far as me, uh, you know, this is it. Uh, this is a culmination of a life's work. You know, I've been wrestling since I was a kid, and, uh, you know, it's going to be put all on the line this weekend. I can uh, walk away a national qualifier and go from there, or, I, you know, I can not go and it's uh there's a lot of pressure um and i think uh you know like i said this is just it's it's a strong focus right now for me going in the tournament uh this is definitely the biggest tournament of my life so um you know it's a long bus ride to north carolina and uh it could be a real fun bus ride back or it could be the worst bus ride of my life but i'm definitely hoping that uh you know i'm on the podium going to nationals in uh, a few weeks so 
Well, no matter how it turns out, you've done an outstanding job of representing Chippensburg in your time here. So best of luck to you this Thank weekend you. down in UNC. So uh, we'll take a break here, and we'll be back in just a moment. We're back on the Ship Sports Report. We're now joined by Cody Myers, who's one of the top wrestlers in the region at 133 pounds. Cody's going to enter this weekend with a 17-4 and four record on the season. Welcome, Cody. Thank you. Uh, first things first, you're a sophomore on this squad. Um, this is going to be your first opportunity representing SHIP at the, Nash at the regional tournament. Talk about what that's going to be like. You know, it's obviously a fun chance to get to res wrestle at the regionals and talk about what that's like. I mean, it is. I mean, it's, I mean, it's been a while since I've actually uh, done, you know, actually been to a regional tournament and everything. And this is going to be my first year back. I mean, it's just kind of, you know, the same thing as you just have to look at it as a everyday regular match. So, I mean, you can't put too much pressure on yourself as far as that goes. But at the same time, I mean, I've definitely been looking forward to it all season. So. Now, uh, we touched on it a little bit with Tyler. Um, you're going to be one of six people who is going to be making their debut at the regional tournament this, this weekend. Obviously, not necessarily a debut, again, in terms of wrestling. You've been, you know, wrestled all year to get to this point. But talk about a little bit with the youth of this squad and just, you know, wrestling hard this, this year, a lot of promise, a lot of hard work to get to this point. I mean, you can definitely tell with a lot of us as it gets closer this week. I mean, we're definitely, you know, the intensity's picking up. You know, guys are kind of feeling more anxious as far as, you know, it's what, what do we expect? You know, what are we expecting out of ourselves? I mean, you definitely don't want to cut yourself short. But at the same time, I mean, a lot of these guys have been to, like, the state tournament in high school and everything, so they understand you know, the pressure and how to deal with the pressure. So that makes it a lot more easier as far as that goes. I mean, some of these guys, you know, they're just starting to make like that. They're taking that next step and they're starting to peak at the right time. So we're all feeling pretty, pretty comfortable as far as that goes. Now, in terms of your specific weight class, you're going to be at 133 pounds competing this weekend. Um, a lot of good competition really in the region at that weight class, though. Um, you've had a lot of success this season. Talk about, though, when you have that many matches and, you know, sort of kind of similar you know you're packing more than a couple in at the same time talk about what your focus is like knowing too you're going to have some good competition to face um i mean personally i just try to always look at it as i mean you have to beat somebody to get out i mean especially with wrestling i mean even if you are down 20 points you can still win a match i mean you're never guaranteed anything no matter what's going on uh you know anybody can win on any given day i mean that's all it takes is for one bad one mistake and you're either going to nationals or you're going home so I mean, and I think a lot of the guys on the team right now feel that they are the ones. Like, they, the mentality right now is that, like, you have to be the best at your weight class, no matter what you seated are. Now, um, that being said, again, wrestling is a long season. You, it's a long journey, a long road to get to this point. Talk about, though, I mean, this week's really what it all comes down to. You have a chance, again, to wrestle to go to the national tournament. Talk about just the excitement, though, and just the nerves or whatever it is of what that's like. I mean, it's it's definitely exciting. I mean, I've I mean, I've, I mean, things since Sunday. I really haven't really been sleeping. I mean, you know, everybody's just kind of getting that anxious feeling. It's it's definitely what what we put all year into, all all season, all that hard work, all the runs, all the preseason stuff, even doing all the stuff during the summer. It's all coming together for this for the next three days here. Well, uh, certainly you'll be uh, one of the uh, ten again competing for Shippensburg this weekend. Want to wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And have a good time of it this weekend. And again, the long bus ride, as Tyler <laughs> said, too. So good luck on the trips back and forth. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Thank everybody, you. for tuning in to this edition of the Ship Sports Report. For more information on all 20 of Shippensburg University's intercollegiate athletic teams, please visit us on the Internet at www.shipraiders.com. Thanks for tuning in.